The runga kutta method allows us to calculate the solution to a differential equation by taking small steps in time. If our step size is too large, we might miss important features of the solution and shoot off too far in one direction. On the other hand, if our step size is smaller than necessary, we might be spending too much time on a boring section of the solution. This is where an adaptive step size is useful. To adapt our step size, we first check to see if taking a step of half the size would result in a significant difference. If it does, like in a region with interesting curvature, we cut the step size in half and start to move along the solution more slowly. If not, we check to see if taking a step of double the size would result in a significant difference. If it doesn't, like in a relatively flat region, we double the step size and start to move along the solution more quickly. In this code, which is available in the description below, we make our runga kutta calculations three times. Once using the current step size, once using a half step, and once using a double step. In line 59, we compare the difference between the original step and the half step. If the relative difference between them is too large, we cut the step size in half and use the half step value. In line 63, we compare the difference between the original step and the double step. If the relative difference between them is small enough, we double the step size and use the double step value. Also notice that we're enforcing a fixed step size in case x gets very small to avoid dividing by zero. Let's try this out using 3t squared as our differential equation. Notice how the step size changes depending on the curvature of our result and the animation runs faster or slower. If we zoom in, we can see how the data points are spaced differently depending on the step size being used. Next, let's apply this adaptive step runga kutta code to the unsolvable differential equation we examined last time. Here, we can see the step size increase and decrease as needed, helping our code balance between accuracy and performance. By the way, you could also repeat this halving and doubling process within each step until you reach a desired accuracy. You should now be able to implement the runga kutta method with an adaptive step size for a given first order differential equation and a given set of initial conditions. Follow the link in the description below and modify the code to use the runga kutta method to solve these differential equations and take note of where the step size increases and decreases. In the next video, we'll examine how we need to modify the runga kutta method to solve second order differential equations which are most commonly encountered in physics.